All right, 15% battery, so we gotta make this quick. If I draw a line like this on the Cartesian plane, it will intersect the axes at two points. This point here is called the y-intercept. Of course, we talked about that in the last video. And this point here is called the x-intercept. They are intercepting the axes at points. And this, let's say we zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. This number here, let's say this number here was, have you seen it? Have you seen it? I seen it, that number they look like a seven. <laughs> Let's say that number there was seven on the on the um y-axis. Well then this point is zero comma seven. And let's say you all see the number here for this one. Let's say this number was also seven on the x-axis. Well, this number will be seven zero. Notice the difference between these two points. Let me talk some more. If I created a line y is equal to negative a half x plus fine. This line would look like this. I like to jump in the future and catch my back. Two no. And this line would look like teacher. But what's your y intercept here? The y intercept here would be zero five. And we know from the last video that this number indicates to us what the y intercept is going to be five right this is in the form y equal mx plus c now remember the number here already tells us the gradient so there's no number to really tell you what the x intercept is in the equation of the line so how would you find that easy at the x intercept the y the value of y is zero so it means i can substitute zero is equal to a negative half x plus five bring across the five it turns negative five equal negative a half x and if i multiply both sides by negative 2 i would realize that x is equal to negative 5 times negative 2 the negative 2 here will cancel and get rid of the half and that is 10. the x coordinate of the x intercept is 10. so let's look at this question the equation of a line is y equal 4x plus 2. what are the coordinates of the x and y intercept it's easy to find the coordinates of the y intercept Coordinates of the y intercept, this is 2. So that's easy. Coordinates of the x intercept, we already learned that we should substitute y equals 0. So let me write it. At the x intercept, the value of y is equal to 0. Therefore, this equation becomes 0 is equal to 4x plus 2. Rearrange, subject of the formula, transposition, whatever you want to call this thing. The negative 2 comes across there from this positive 2. In the end, you should get negative a half as the value of x. Therefore, the coordinates of the x-intercept is negative a half, 0 on the y. You're cooking it ramp gas. Yes. Here's a little difficult one. And the reason why this one is difficult is because you can't just read off this number as the y-intercept because there's actually a number in front of the y. So can anyone in the chat tell me the coordinates of the y-intercept and the x-intercept for this equation and with that we're bringing this video to a close love and blessings i'll see you for the next video in um coordinate geometry press like